Hey guys, it's James from The Chart Guys. It's Friday, September 16th. Going to do my nightly review of commodities. Let's start with oil. Um, again, oil's been in this equilibrium pattern that I've, I've mentioned in all my videos after it set this recent high. Set a higher low, lower high, higher low, lower high, and a higher low. Uh, what happened is we had the subtrend line, and once the price broke through that, we had this next um, uptrend line, and it, and it broke through that. And so... The low of this candle is 43.59, which was back on uh, September 1st, and we did break under that candle, and that is a bearish break out of this equilibrium can uh, pattern. So uh, bulls are in full control of oil, and they have been since the rejection at the top of this downtrend line. So something that bulls want to do is to make sure that they defend the low of this candle, which is 42.64. Uh, we break below that, we could test the low of this candle, which is at 40.77. Uh, what bears want is obviously the opposite. They want to they want to break under this candle and then under this candle. So we'll we'll watch to see what happens next week. One thing you can watch for is that on the hourly chart is once once oil loss is 50 ma, this yellow ma on the hourly, um, you can see this this accelerated to the downside. Uh, we back tested the. We back tested the, re the 50 MA as resistance and we failed. Uh, tried it again, failed. Then we had consolidation here and more downside <clears throat> after we were unable to break through the 50 MA on the hourly. Then we went for it again, the oil bulls, and failed, got knocked back. And then more downside. So um, obviously it's moving sideways again and two things could happen. Either we're going to hit the 50 MA and get rejected again and then we'll see further downside and go for the the low I was talking about on the daily of the next candlestick, which is here, or bulls are going to show up and regain the 50 MA on the hourly, and then we could see some more upside. Um, that's yet to be seen. We'll see next week. Let's go to gold. So gold on the daily, we have still have 100 MA support and. Um, you can see we haven't had two green days in a long time, and that's very similar to this move here, this move here, this move here, this move here, where we didn't have two green days. And uh, these big bounces are non-farm payroll, Brexit, you know, FOMC, um, meeting announcements, the no rate hike and things like that. So with FOMC set to, to release their decision, I believe it's Wednesday, uh, we could get another catalyst in gold to send it higher, but everyone's expecting expecting them not to raise rates who are gold bulls. So, but be wary because things can happen that you don't expect, regardless of how how certain it seems. Like Brexit, you know, so many people for sure thought no one's going to leave. Uh, they would never let the Brexit vote go through, but it did happen. So, um, be aware of it. Have a plan ready already before it happens. How are you going to play? both sides, whether it's protective puts, you know, whatever, strangles, whatever you're gonna do, um, just be prepared either way. Don't 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 scramble to make plays after, while it's happening or you're gonna be caught with like a deer in headlights and that is not a good way to invest and trade. So have a, a game plan for whether Fed announces a rate hike or they don't. Um, gold on the hourly, it's very, it's it's same scenario as, as oil. So after it lost this 50 MA, you can see accelerated the downside try to get above it, got rejected, so more downside. Uh, consolidate sideways, try to take it out again. Failed, failed, again failed, and then we saw a big move down. And so now it's gonna probably move sideways unless gold bulls show up on overnight on Sunday. Um, and it's gonna retest the 50 MA and we're either gonna get knocked down again and go lower or we are going to have gold bulls show up and go higher. That's something to watch out for. Um, and you can see this weakness on the gold daily, how it's how every day we're we're we're, we're setting uh, lower lows. But for miners, if you look at the hourly, the hourly we, we've we've held pretty well relative to gold. I mean, we did have this dump, but we've just been moving sideways. Um, we were we're moving in a range and and. Miners did break out of it bearish when it broke under this candlestick here, setting a new low, new lower low. But uh, they were able to close above the low of this candlestick. So 
we'll see what happens with the FOMC meeting um, coming up next week and things like that. But again, this is a this this was a bearish break today um, out of the equilibrium tightening pattern. Uh, so be aware of that. We'll see what happens next week. And finally, natural gas. Natural gas. Um, again, I've been long term bullish after the trend. I think has really changed. On um, the weekly, you can see same thing that I keep mentioning: high, low, uh, lower high, higher low, and then a, a weekly candle that breaks above this candlestick, which is bullish. So the next price resistance is 2.998, and then three dollars psychological. I like Nat gas long term with winter coming up. This just looks like a big bull move up and some consolidation, and now it's trying to make another bull move up to me. That's what it looks like to me on the weekly. Um, obviously, long term trend is still very bearish on natural gas, but natural gas bulls are trying to turn things around here after consolidating sideways for some time. So I will see you guys Monday. Have a good weekend. Enjoy your weekends. Don't think about trading. Do something fun.